Hello, I'm Tom Wilkinson, and welcome to the Thinking in English podcast, a podcast aimed at intermediate to advanced level English learners. On today's episode, I want to look at the future of transport. Virgin Hyperloop trialed their new technology earlier this month raising a number of questions about how we will move around in the future. Will cars no longer be needed? How will we travel? Is Hyperloop the solution? These questions and more will be answered on today's episode of Thinking in English. We're now on Instagram. I'm producing daily content focusing on improving your vocabulary, so make sure you check out the Thinking in English page Thinking in English podcast on Instagram, or the link is in the description. Instagram is also probably the best way to contact me, and hopefully over the next week or so, I will start producing some extra special Instagram exclusive content. All transcripts of the podcast are also available on the Thinking in English blog. The vocabulary list, comprehension questions, and articles are all there for you to read. The link is in the description, so please check it out. Here is today's vocabulary list. As always, the written list is available in the description of the podcast and also on our blog, thinkinginenglish.blog. Urban. Urban. Relating to towns and cities. For example, over 82% of Texans live in urban areas. Congested. Congested. To be crowded or blocked. So congested roads have too much traffic and it is difficult to move. For example, congested roads are normal on holiday weekends. To trial to trial, to test something in a formal way to discover how effective or suitable it is. We will trial the new drug in several hospitals. Pod, pod. A pod is a detachable or self-contained unit on an aircraft, spacecraft, vehicle or vessel having a particular function. For example, the spacecraft has an escape pod for two people. Vacuum, vacuum. A vacuum is a space without any gas or other matter in it, or a space from which most of the air or gas has been removed. For example, Edison knew that he had to create a vacuum inside the light bulb. Levitation. Levitation. Levitation is the act of rising or floating, or making someone rise or float, in the air without any physical support. Some superheroes have the power of levitation. To exceed, to exceed, to be greater than a number or amount, or to go past an allowed limit. For example, the final cost should not exceed $5,000. Hypothetical, hypothetical. If something is hypothetical, it is imagined or suggested, but not necessarily real or true. For example, estimated return is based on a hypothetical $1,000 investment. To project, to project. To calculate an amount or number expected in the future from information already known. For example, government spending is projected to rise by 3% next year.
the way we travel is going to need to radically change over the next decades. Private ownership of cars has, if anything, been far too successful. There are over 1 billion cars on the road today, and countries including Finland and Andorra actually have over one car per person. People drive to work, to school, to the supermarket, to everywhere and anywhere. As the global population grows and more people reside in urban areas, the current transport situation is not sustainable. Our cities are already too congested and suffering from dangerously poor air quality. We need to rethink the way we travel. One possible solution to our transport challenges was trialled for the first time earlier this month. Virgin Hyperloop, a futuristic transport concept that involves pods inside vacuum tubes carrying people and cargo at high speeds, has taken passengers on a short journey during a test on November 8th. They use magnetic levitation technology, which is similar to that used on other advanced high-speed rail projects. The addition of vacuum tunnels would allow hyperloops to far exceed the speed of normal magnetic levitation trains. During the trial, two passengers travelled down a 500-metre test track in 15 seconds, reaching 107 miles per hour or 172 kilometres per hour. However, this pales in comparison with the company's target speed. They are confident that they will eventually be able to reach speeds of 1,000 kilometres per hour. Although they had already tested the concept over 400 times, and Virgin Hyperloop is not the only company developing similar technology, a successful test with human passengers is an essential step in the concept's progress. So why is Hyperloop technology being considered as part of our future transport plans? Well, the pods are far more energy efficient than other forms of transport, such as aircraft, and can travel at incredibly high speeds. It's estimated that a journey starting in New York City and finishing in Washington DC could take as little as 30 minutes on a hyperloop. That would be an average speed of over 700 kilometers per hour. Virgin Hyperloop is also investing in projects around the world, including a hypothetical 12-minute connection between Dubai and Abu Dhabi, which takes more than an hour by existing public transport. The concept of a Hyperloop was first suggested by Tesla and SpaceX owner Elon Musk in 2012. There are several other companies working on the concept, including a company set up by Musk called The Boring Company. So here is today's final thought. Will the Hyperloop be a crucial element of our future transportation? Critics say no. It's too expensive. Will require an unsustainable amount of new infrastructure. And doesn't solve the problems of urban congestion. In contrast, supporters claim it will be a greener, quieter, and in some cases faster, alternative to aircraft, trains and cars. It will not, however, be enough to fix our transportation issues alone. One of the biggest frustrations of contemporary urban transport systems is the lack of coordination between different transport providers. Normally, and I'm speaking for myself here, but I guess for all of you too, we don't care about how we travel or with which company. We care more about how easy and fast we can get from A to B, whether it's on foot, by bicycle, electric scooter, metro, bus, train, hire car or taxi, or a mixture of some or all of those. 
That is potentially the key to guessing what transport will look like in 20, 50 or 100 years time. Coordination. Mixing different forms of transport to create fast, efficient and easy to use transportation. Taking electric scooters from your home to the nearest Hyperloop station. Cycling from work or riding automated buses. Car sharing platforms like Uber and Lyft with automated driving technology. If these can work together, our current obsession with private cars might be over. Car companies have already started reducing the number of cars they are projected to make in the future, as well as changing their designs away from private fuel cars. In the words of Lorenz van den Acker, chief designer for French vehicle maker Renault, we think the future is going to be increasingly more autonomous, more electric, more connected and shared. What do you think? What do you think transportation will look like in the future? Will it still be car based, privately owned car based? Or maybe in 25 years, no one owns cars. What do you think? Here are today's comprehension questions. As always, the written questions and answers can be found in the description of the podcast and also on our blog, thinkinginenglish.blog. What speed did this month's Hyperloop test reach? How long will it take you to travel from Abu Dhabi to Dubai using Hyperloop? Who first suggested the idea of Hyperloop? Thank you for listening to today's episode of Thinking in English. Please share with your friends, check out our social media links in the description and send us a message. We're now on Instagram, go check out some of our posts, lots of good content on there for you. We appreciate all of your feedback and if you have any ideas for topics, future podcast guests or other learning formats, please let us know. Um, if you want to send a message, Instagram is the best place, but email, um, maybe even Twitter, although I don't use Twitter very often. Um, Oh, and please leave us a rating. Oh, and check out our blog, thinkinginenglish.blog. Thank you, and see you next time.